This song's called When I Fall in Love Again. And it's funny because I was just looking at these pictures. You see, you say you got them with all the uh, bells and whistles in it. Like, because I just look kind of exactly like I did about 45 years ago, huh? Anyway, when I fall in love again, <clears throat> we happen to be in uh, the studio where when is Moran, Moran Heights up in uh, north of Montreal. And uh, we were doing Moran Heights. Uh, jo- uh, Andre Perry owned the studio at the time, and I think we had just followed uh, in after the police had just done their record there. Of course, I had no idea about the history of it. And, uh, and Bob Rock, uh, we were in Vancouver starting to do the song, and I know that uh, uh, when we got to Morn Heights, we went out for some drinks up in St. Saint- Sever. Funny I'm remembering all this. Went by, uh, to St. Sever, and uh, we saw some people there that were singing um, and doing some great, great harmonies in the bar where we went for a few drinks. Um, uh, I can't remember her, her name now, but anyway, there was the two of them, and we got them to come in the studio. And I was recording this song, and as a matter of fact, the Moran Heights, we were still finishing the t- last touches on writing the song. I was with Jerry Mosby and uh, Gerald O'Brien at the time. And I was away from, a couple of lyrics away from some stuff. But anyway, these people that we met in St. Sever came up because they sounded great when we heard them singing live in the, in the studio, uh, in the studio, in the, in the bar. We got good and drunk and invited them. Bob, actually, Bob Rock from, if you remember Bob Rock from the Paolas, <clears throat> asked them to come back. And they are the background vocals on, Ooh, I fall in love again. So uh, they came in and did a great, great job of it. And uh, it was in more nights, and it was just, remember it being like uh, wonderful in that it was a, a studio in the woods. I'd be, I remember sitting in the, uh, in the studio and hearing these birds chirping. And I was going, and I'm looking at the studio, because you're used to doing studios that are usually in a dungeon of some sort. And you wouldn't think of anything like this, but I'm hearing the birds and I'm, I'm almost positive that they, someone made a mistake and I was going to say, you guys somehow recorded birds and there's something going on. Sure enough, the, the, the window was open and it was all forested, it was in the woods. It was the birds from outside that were chirping. And I thought that that was really kind of interesting, especially when people back in the studio were just so staunch about everything being so perfect and no sound coming in and any kind of recording, but I was hearing birds. Okay, now it wasn't the actual recording room, but it was the listening back room where the windows were open hearing birds. I I remember having a a hell of a great time recording that record, so much so that I don't remember much at all (laughs) about it. Um, But uh, last time I heard from Bob, he's, uh, he's in Hawaii and doing great. Gerald O'Brien and all those buddies, we're still in touch. Probably haven't done an awful lot of work together in a long while, but uh, when it came to writing that song, well, I don't even know why I decided to write a song like that, but it really all came together when these background vocals came out of nowhere and people in this last moment kind of deal, and there was a certain amount of um, really interesting uh, time in that we had no idea that it was going to come out the way it did. Absolutely none at all. I like the pictures though.